It's been the case for a while now that the GTS models have always been the sweet spot of the Porsche lineup. And now there's a new one in the family. This is the Taycan GTS Sport Turismo. Let's check it out and take our first look. And before we get too deep with the Taycan GTS, I'd like to remind you to please subscribe to the Moto1 YouTube channel and help us grow. You can also follow us on social media using the handle at Moto1.com. Let's check out the Taycan. So let's break down this car by its name. So we have Taycan GTS Sport Turismo. So you'll know that's different for a couple of reasons. This is the first variant of the Taycan we've seen that is the sort of slammed wagon without the body cladding. We were introduced to the Cross Turismo not too long ago, and it looks very similar to this with a few key differences. So obviously we do have the body cladding, the wheels are a bit different, and there's different textures on the outside of the car. But GTS introduces a few different markers uh, for making this car look unique on the road. Following form with other GTS products like 911, Cayman, Boxer. This is wearing a lot of black. And I have to say, oof, it looks good against that Carmine red paint. These wheels are also specific to GTS. They just debuted. Um, and they have this really intricate design to them. I, I just adore the way they look and up against these red brake calipers look fantastic. At the front of this car, it's wearing the uh, specific sport fascia. So with GTS, you're gonna get blacked out headlights and then some of the trim down here is gonna look a bit different compared to some of the other Taycans in the range. Other specific things with GTS, we have black trim going around the windows as well. And then just overall some black touches like here on the charge port and then around back. Black badging for Taycan GTS and some other black trim pieces overall. I don't think it's too much of a secret. This is the best looking version of the Taycan we've seen yet. That's typically the case with GTS variants. They get in there and they do some really specific stylistic things to just make them stand out. Um, and I think it's also worth noting that this looks a lot better, at least to my eye, than the Cross Turismo. And that, of course, has a gravel mode, which this doesn't, but the stance is also a bit different. This has the same stance, the same ride height as the sedan, actually. Also forgot to point out the GTS specific branding on the side sill looks super clean. Let's check out the interior real quick and then go over the powertrain. All right, let's hop inside and see what's different. Now, true GTS form, it's not gonna be a complete transformation over the Taycan variants that we've already seen, turbo and, and the 4S. But there are some things that are new. This is totally decked out in Alcantara. It is all over the seats. It's even extending to the upper portion of the seats. And I've never seen a Taycan with it all over the dash as well. I've seen different trims, but you know, at first glance here, I kind of like it. I think it, it does better than some of the metal trims that we've seen inside of Taycan. It's a lot of one material, I gotta say that, but in, you know, this is a Porsche. You can do it any way you want. I'm sure you can swap this out for different materials and take out some of this Alcantara, but it's definitely different. And just like the case with all the other Taycans and pretty much every other Porsche, the driving position in this car is just fantastic. I've been lucky enough to drive a few different Taycans and every time you're just immediately taken aback by how great it is. Nice, big, high steering position. It's perfect distance between you and the wheel and you get a perfect view of everything. A few other things in here, I'm noticing some red stitching, which is great with the paint, uh, the whole black and red motif extending to the interior as well. And then of course, with the GTS, you gotta go for the red seat belts, right? Let's talk powertrain for just a second here. This is gonna again split the difference between the base Taycan and 4S, and then up against the Turbo and Turbo S. So again, the sweet spot in the range. They're quoting 590 horsepower, and in this case, a zero to 60 time of 3.5 seconds. Of course, it's gonna come with all wheel drive and have amazing traction off the line, just like uh, the more expensive models. For more on the Taycan GTS Sport Turismo, head over to Moto1.com. And as always, thanks for watching.